Hello, I'm the Zombie J, and it's time for another Bionicle review. This time, we're taking a look at a Mystica Makuta. <sighs> the only one I have, actually, out of the three. And that is, of course, the female Makuta, Gorast. I pronounce it as Gorast because gore and ass. <laughs> I don't know. Um, is it Gorast or Gorost? I don't know. Whatever. Point is... She is a, well, wasp-like uh, Makuta. Because um, Makuta is not just Pterodax. It's a species. Uh, um, that was a retcon that I did not think was going to last that well. Um, to the test of time. So, Gorast here is um, pretty interesting. She has four arms. And two legs. She's got the whole chicken legs sort of thing. I don't know what that's actually called. It's like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> she does have the Ninra Ghost Blaster, which does launch these Ninra Ghosts in lime green. Her color scheme is, well, lime green, dark gray, and black. Obviously with some trans clear um, or some sort of a lenticular... Uh, wings. I still have a couple of extras of these uh, wings, you know, from Thornrax. I should probably rebuild Thornrax, but I don't fucking feel like it, so shut up. Uh, her mask, I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember the mask power. All I know is it's some sort of uh, uh, thing she's going to poke you with. Uh, she's going to poke you with that, impale you with it, and inject something into it. She's got Borok eyes in trans orange, and she has a Metru, Toa Metru lower arm in black, a socket joint right there. This is one of the weird head designs. This is the weird, one of the weirdest mask designs. It definitely looks kind of uh, insect like, mostly because of this proboscis looking thing or this uh, little poker thing. <laughs> so. <clears throat> She'll sting you. Um, and, yeah, so. Uh, her feet are these nice claw pieces in black, which, uh, you know, transition to a lime green. She has four of those. Two for her feet with Wardika uh, necks as her ankles. And two for her second uh, hands. That's why this one is mounted the way, this weapon is mounted the way it is. Um, these are at a weird angle, so, you know, the posability is weird, but we'll get to that. Um, her lower, uh, legs, I guess you could call that, is, um, just the 2008 style of the, uh, Toa Metru, um, <clears throat> upper arm, upper leg, double socket thing, uh, system. Uh, and of course her arms and her upper legs are the Aphmatoran limbs in lime green. And there's six of them. Oh boy, you get a grand total of six of these fucking things. Just make sure none of them are broken. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. Gorast obviously has these wings and they're pretty freaking cool. These could be used as swords too, you know. They have an axle right here. Um, this looks like some sort of guard thing, like a hilt. But this definitely looks like it could be used as a sword. It's very flexy and whatnot, but because it's polypropylene with a lenticular layer on the top and the bottom. So, <clears throat> she does have the Mystica claw pieces in silver. Um, why? I don't know. But definitely makes a little bit more sense than these, but these definitely are more interesting than these, even though these have a nice uh, pattern to them, a nice um, shaping and general look to them. These just look kind of, uh, I don't know, strange. Um, her torso is a different build from the standard Anika build. Um, and that's because her torso is reversed. She has a dark gray upper torso, a black lower torso, and a black Vaki lower torso for her uh, second arms, secondary arms, with this connector piece. So 
you can plug one of those Shadow Matoran onto her back, which I always felt was kind of a, a useless gimmick, but hey, it is what it is. And yeah, this is kind of an interesting design for a uh, torso. Obviously, you know, the neck piece is one module down, one pinhole down, um, but because, you know, it's more flush. And, well, that's basically all there is to it. I mean, you think it be, couldn't be any more simpler than this? Obviously, she has a very wide shelf presence because of these fucking uh, wings. Um, but, obviously, you can make those uh, go back like this. But then, the, the depth. The depth is the problem. You have to have her in, but, um, you have to have her in front of at least one, maybe two characters. So, but these wings can go back like this, and so that's how you can store her, I guess, in a container or whatever. Um, but the wings do move, and they're pretty fucking cool. Um, obviously, she can move her neck all the way, her head all the way back like this. Whoa! Um, yeah, so, as if a, a ninja ghost is coming her way, and it's about to impact her face, she does this. And it goes all the way past, and then she brings back. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, well, you can get some expression out of uh, Gorost's, uh, you know, yeah. Um, I just think the mask is weird. Um, obviously, you know, her arms at the sh at the shoulders, they... Uh, move in various directions, the hands can move at the wrists. Same thing with the lower arms, even though the articulation on the lower, on the, on these wrists, because these, because of the configuration of these, and just the nature of these claw pieces in general, it's kind of weird, you know, there's that, so, um, but there's also, you know, you, you run the risk of, uh, potentially snapping off the um, the hands, you know, if you're not careful. So, yeah, play it safe. Um, this one is a little more limited because of the blaster, um, but, I mean, it's still doable. So, the legs, obviously, are a lot more articulated than the arms. So, root, 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 root. So, there's a lot of articulation in these legs, despite the upper portion of the legs being less articulated because they're the fucking Avmatoran limbs. I like the Avmatoran limbs, they're definitely creative, they definitely, you know, were a callback to that, the Toa Mata, in a way. But, you know, for a character like Gorost, uh, you're better off saving these, uh, limbs for the Matoran, so, but they used them on Gorast, so I think it's a interesting creative use of the pieces, so maybe they just had, I don't know, maybe Lego had uh, a, a fuck ton of these Athmatoran limbs in lime green left over from the Tanma uh, production, you know, uh, cycle or whatever, so she is kind of, you know, they, they had to use them in some way, so uh, they gave her these uh, limbs. And you get six of them, which is pretty fucking cool. But if one of those ends up breaking, you're fucked. So, there you go. That's Gorast. I like Gorast. Obviously, she's actually my favorite of the, um, <clears throat> of the uh, Mystica Makudas. No, I'm not that big of a fan of Bittle nor am I a fan of Krika, even though they're both interesting sets. I like Gorost better, actually. For some reason, the appeal is there. Even though the mask is flipping weird, I feel like she has a, a more of an advantage with the four arms that she has, even though they're shorter. Um, I like the wings. I do like the the use of the uh, clawed feet here, and obviously these Mystica claws uh, um, are really nice pieces. The attached, um, uh, what is this, uh, Ninra Ghost Blaster attached to the hand like this is 
definitely a nice um, thing. It does limit uh, somewhat of the articulation. You kind of have to play around with it, you know. And you know, the custom torso design, even though it's pieces we've seen a million times before, it's still uh, interesting to see those um, put together like the way they are. So, Gorast, I feel like, is a successful set, despite some things kind of feeling a little... I don't know. Like, you've seen it all before. But, at least they tried. Um, they tried to do something creative and fun with... Gorost, and I do applaud them for making Gorost the best they could probably make her. So, would I recommend Gorost again here in 2024? Probably if you could find her for less than 50 fucking dollars. I managed to get this Gorost a couple years ago or so for, I don't know, like less than twenty dollars I think, which is a good deal in my opinion, because this was thirteen dollars when it came out when she came out and so you know they're, they're, yeah so didn't come with the instructions I think I don't remember it also didn't come with the canister which you know whatever that's just more plastic so but yeah Gorast is pretty cool I like her and um, there you go stay tuned for more Bionicle reviews I got at least a couple more for this uh, trilogy of videos um, for well for right now um, but don't worry I'll have at least a couple more by the end of well at least by the time I go to bed so there you go so yeah stay tuned mm. So yeah, thank you all for watching, um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you folks there, have a good fucking day, and peace.